So today we're looking at the market cap and we'll talk a little bit about Bitcoin, a few of the altcoins that we've been watching, look at the updated features that I have added to my coin score sheet and finish it up with two pieces of news. One where we talk about the prediction of Bitcoin and then another it's common theme around social media. Here we go. Welcome YouTube to altcoin picks. First, let me say thanks to all of you who support me. Even though the crypto market has been so dire lately, I know many of you don't really want to pay attention or take the time to actually watch it. You want to throw your coins in the side and just wait, but you've still supported me and I greatly appreciate you guys so much. Again, thank you for being so awesome. Second, I want to thank everyone that has been active in my discord. A huge shout out to MP George, Soul My ND Gotham Reckoning <laughs> JJ LZ Money and Kicks. All of you have definitely kept the chat super active, and I am so thankful to all of you for just being there when people come, making discussions, and just chatting. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you like what you're watching, please smash that subscribe button below. I want to remind you, Stefano is doing his very first video today. So don't forget to check that out. Be supportive. And we always welcome your feedback. Not just him, me also. We love it. We want to make the channel as great, informative, and fun as possible. So come to our Discord, Facebook channel in the comments below. Let us know what you think we can do to make the channel as great as possible. So let's check out coin market cap. So it looks like we are headed to sub $300 billion market cap with many people predicting that the bottom of Bitcoin will be around $6,000. So we're still around $2,000. Hopefully it doesn't drop much more after that. I'm getting tired and I'm sure many of you are getting tired of Bitcoin doing those huge drops huge gains and then huge drops unless you're trading it then you're probably super excited. Most of us aren't doing that too much stress as we talked about last video. So it's surprising to me the amount of money selling at this price right now. I can't wait until altcoins are not tied to Bitcoin anymore because God, this is so annoying. No matter what news a company brings, whether it's amazing, great, the momentum shoots it up and then it just crashes a couple days later. A good example of this is Aeon. So with Aon, as you can see, right before all the news, we were about $2. We pumped all the way up to $3, a huge jump, especially with this market being so awful. But of course, right after it dipped and it dipped pretty hard to right back where it was, 195. Granted, it's gone back up to 253, but this is just ridiculous and pretty common. No matter what the news is, we get this huge increase, just, just a huge crash. I'm so fed up with this. It's ridiculous that the money is moving that fast that people are trying to get any kind of profit they can because everyone is just so negative. With that being said, let's jump to Dragon Chain. So this one, Dragon Chain is at 76 cents and it dropped all the way down to, I believe, 51 cents. Slow internet. 51 cents for Dragon Chain. What the heck? I thought I got the best price possible or one of the great price when I got in at 40 cents and it almost dropped all the way down there. This blows my mind. If I wasn't so down on all my other coins, I would have taken out another huge chunk of money and put it into uh, Dragon Chain. But I have to remember, I don't wanna put all my money in one coin. If something happens, look at T-Bar or Bar, what, Titanium Blockchain. They were a promising project and then they had some huge FUD, someone stole their money and now they're just destroyed. We don't want this to happen. That's why you don't put all your coins or all your money in just one project. This could happen to anybody. Let's check what they're at right now, actually. 16 cents. This is how much FUD, look at this. Oh wait, I guess T-Bar, right? Oh, they don't have that on here. Either way, we don't want this to happen. I also want to check out 0x. So this one, again, you know, if you've been watching my video, I love and I've always loved 0x and we're down to 43 cents right now. How far did we get up to? $2. That is such a huge dip. No, even further. $2 and about 50 cents. This is ridiculous. These prices 
I know many of us are stressing and it sucks, especially if you came in during January because you're probably down a huge chunk, but you just got to make sure you jump in those coins that are great. Dragon Chain, 0x, Ethereum, when they drop the amount that they do, you just dollar cost average and get a better position. Look at this, $542. We were looking at this at $1,300 not too long ago. Look at it as a positive thing. When you're in a great coin, you love these times. When you're in an awful coin, you dread these times because you don't know if your coin will recover. Dragon Chain, 0x Ethereum, we know it will. So buy more. <laughs> at least that's what I'm doing. So this leads me on to my coin score sheet. Now with the coin score sheet, we've added all time high, percent from all time high. We're still looking for a formula for volume. I think I will get this up pretty quick. So we have the project type and I have little red kind of details, I guess we need to check out as a group. Do we want to be more specific here on project type? I think we will be. We got the impact. Are we kind of checking if it's affecting the blockchain specifically or their respected markets? Then their partner, should we add partner details? So who's their top partner or top partners? And then competition, who's their biggest competition in the blockchain space or just in the market in general? Then should we add roadmap details? So then should we add roadmap details? So in one month or three months, they'll be having something big, kind of show when is the next big thing that will be happening for each specific coin. We've added the top exchange volume. This will update accordingly, whichever one is leading for that respected coin. Right now, as you can see, Binance is actually has a lot of these coins as their top market. Then red flags, we're gonna put the number of red flags and then we already had that, the red flag details. So there's still a lot of work that needs to be done here, but I think it's coming together pretty well. I think we have a lot of detail to kind of show which coin is doing what. I want this to be super extensive, super detailed so that when we get the score, it's as accurate as possible. Now we're still deciding how we wanna score each section so that we can get an overall score to kind of judge each and every coin. Also, as you can see the colors, so this one's kind of hard. We don't know, we're still trying to decide if we wanna make the green be like 50% from all time high or 90%. So it kind of depends on where you're looking at in the coin, are you trying to buy it? If you're trying to buy it, then 90% is great. If you're holding it, 90% is awful because you already have a position and it's that far off of the all time high. Right now we have it as red, the further down it goes. So right now 90% is red, 50% is more green. Again, any details that you think we need to add to make this scoring as accurate as possible will be greatly appreciated. You can come to my Discord for that. Come to the Facebook group also. That's the coin sheet. I'm hoping that you guys are liking these updates. I, I know it's not moving as fast as a lot of you would want, but we'll get there, I promise you, don't worry. Next, let's look at the news. So we have Tom Lee's predicts Bitcoin to reach $91,000 by March 2020 based on performances after past dips. So Fudstrat's Mark Lee forecasted that Bitcoin's price will reach $91,000 by March. And this guy is the co-founder over at Fudstrat's Global and has some impressive credentials. He is an accomplished Wall Street strategist with over 25 years of experience in equity, in equity research and has been top ranked by institutional investors every year since 1998. Prior to co-founding Fudstrat, he served most recently at JP Morgan as their chief equity strategist from 2007 to 2014. So this guy pretty much knows what he's talking about, at least much more than most people. <laughs> so here's his Twitter if you wanna go follow him. It looks like he knows what he's doing. I would rather follow this guy's predictions than McAfee, but that's just me. <laughs> so let's check it out. Tom and his company Fudstrat used an average of the percentage gain in price after each dip to arrive at the 2020 figure. He has been predicting high prices for Bitcoin since the price was below $3,000. And in July, 2017, he stated that Bitcoin would hit $55,000 by 2020. I know that's a lot further from McAfee's prediction, but who knows where McAfee's getting that from? Uh, that guy's crazy. <laughs> 
he most his most recent prediction was in January where he predicted a $25,000 Bitcoin by the end of 2018. Now that's a lot lower than many of us were expecting, especially because we, I think we saw a 20 or 21,000 Bitcoin at the end of 2017. But with Bitcoin doing now, $25,000 doesn't sound that bad. So we have a bit of less FUD here. It's an optimistic view of Bitcoin, which is nice to see with all the FUD and the dips we continuously are experiencing every week over and over. And especially many of you new people, that's all you've experienced. Something to look forward to, and hopefully he's completely right. Next, let's look at the Twitter ban. So there's unconfirmed reports that Twitter is going to ban crypto-related ads in response to regulations concerns. So this is just like Google, just like Facebook. They're considering banning cryptocurrency-related advertising. But I don't think Twitter has confirmed this yet. I personally wouldn't be surprised, like I said, Facebook and Google has already done this. Twitter has experienced an influx of fake accounts pretending to advertise crypto giveaways. I think we saw this with Binance. You see it all the time. You see the Binance CEO or someone post something and someone comes in and says, we are doing this huge Ethereum giveaway. Just send us three Ethereum and we'll send you 10 Ethereum. And it's obvious it's fake, but new people or people that aren't very educated in terms of social media or IT, may get scammed off of this. So I don't mind this. I think this is great. People, they need to refrain or keep people off of creating these fake crypto famous persona, personas acting like they're Charlie Lee from Litecoin or Vitalik from Ethereum. So as I said about the other two, I honestly don't mind this. We need to find a way to protect the average user and this seems to be the best and only way to do it. So with that being said, that's my video. Market news, we got some coins. Remember, my coin score sheet is evolving all the time. I'm hoping you guys are loving that. It's pretty unique in this space. I haven't really found anybody else doing that, at least not on YouTube. I know there's some websites that do it, but we're doing it our own way. And your input is always valuable and actually might be added if it's a great idea. So come and talk to us in our Discord, in our Facebook channel, and PM me in, if you want to. I am there and I will respond. I promise you that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and smash that subscribe button also. And I'll see you next time.